<sighs> All right, good morning guys, Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It is the 5th of March, today is a Tuesday, and as of right now, we are just under 14 weeks out. The time is currently 6.50 and we're about to head to the gym. I set myself a goal yesterday to wake up early to go to the gym before anything else because I've been putting it back the evening times and it's not been the best. Hey. I'm like happy. <laughs> These are the abs in the morning right now. I feel like it's the morning when my abs like are starting to shine through like more and more and more and having like any abs in the morning, like 14 weeks out, is pretty crazy to me considering we always used to start prep like 13 weeks out. It's pretty cool. We just pulled up at the gym and today we're going to be doing shoulders and arms. Two days ago, we had a refeed on Sunday. The way we've been doing refeeds, because I had one obviously like the week before and another one this weekend. And it's literally because of the fact that my body is being so responsive right now to the current diet that we're needing to like feed up, which I'm not complaining about. Like, like the fact that I've got sushi two weekends in a row now is bloody fantastic. So today's shoulder and arm workout, hopefully we're going to receive a pretty decent pump because food is still at 3,300 calories because we don't want to flatten out, especially not this far out from the show. Cheers, how you feeling? It's yeah? too early for me. Usually we go to bed now. Usually we're on Xbox now, but <laughs> it's never really. <laughs> Let me set the record straight for a minute. Hate, I get it. Say it with him. I don't give a f. I'm cool with it. Play and peep the fans with him. Yeah. They gon' remember my. Yeah. You are not at all ready. He an outlaw getting off when he calls envy. Hit the peanut gallery. They all jelly. Yeah. They gon' remember my. Yeah. We let them say what they gon' say about us. That ain't nothing. I ain't bothered. Nah, problem. Haters hate. Another day in dollar. Keep your money ready. Honestly, this early morning workout has made me feel a certain kind of way. Like the fact that all these endorphins have now been released and I feel so good about today. Like I already know that today is going to be a fantastic day on prep. 14 weeks out with this mentality is exactly what I need. It's exactly the head frame I got to be in. Positive mind frame, positive about life. Just like knowing that everything we do now, every single day, every box that we tick, every day that we accomplish in the best way that we can is only going to result in a physique that I've never achieved before. That's going to beat my previous physique and that's all I can hope for is to beat what we brought to the stage in Austria to get a pro card but right now we're going to do a bit of a physique update you saw the one this morning but now we have a bit more of a pump so I'm going to show you the difference between obviously this morning and now with some like blood in the right places the fire sworn to a higher coat get lighter up lit bit out of your tire go we gon level up corner office the entire flow put the beer there wheels i ain't do anything on a lighter note yeah hit on brass tax fact is kind of dope serving people like the corner stove you could call me but i kind of feel like i've been on a roll party never over how the model still go they remember my name And 
there we have it. Job done. That is the current physique. We thought we'd film it like through the crack of the posing room to make it like a little bit cooler than just like in the gym. Nice to see the physique coming together. We're gonna head back and make some breakfast and actually get back in the shower, freshen up because I'm a bag of sweat right now and I don't want to smell like this for the rest of the day. Job done? I'm tired. Just making breakfast. We've made breakfast and meal too. We have, if you watch the full, that plate is hot. <laughs> the two whole eggs, basically the egg omelet that I have if you watch the full day of eating and my oats and we got another. I haven't been making the pro card cookie this entire prep because it's just easier to just have cold oats and just like let it soak in. And in both of those we mixed in the huge whey vanilla milkshake and as far as like a vanilla protein goes, this one is freaking tops. That's an Irish thing. <laughs> yeah, it's an Irish. All right, so in this box, we have a bunch of stuff that I'm very proud of. Some is out and some is dropping later in a few months. These are the single ply knee sleeves. These dropped a few weeks ago and they have been flying off the shelves. Like the response of these has made me want to bring out like three more colors because people are very happy with them. This is a large size, so we've got the icon right there, woven on. Inside, we've got the label, but this isn't what I wanna talk about right now. I'm gonna give you a bit of a sneak peek because this is Hard Body's first ever collaboration collection. I've always wanted to make a collaboration collection and I'm very proud of it. It's turned out a thousand times better than I thought that it ever could. So I'm gonna show you the color, but not who it's with and not the rest of the stuff, you'll see. So in the collection, there's gonna be lifting straps, wrist straps, a lever belt and knee sleeve. So a four piece stack, a nice white logo on the front there, hiding the name but as you can see, it's a beautiful navy blue. These are the premium lifting straps. These are actually coming in two more colors. We currently have three colors. We will have two more and then we'll have six when this drops. So we'll have six colors of our best selling lifting strap ever. You'll see more in the future, but I'm very proud and things with this, with Hard Body are going better than they ever have ever, so. All right, so fast forward just a little bit of time. It's actually three days in the future right now. We're in a different time zone, different country completely. We are back in the UK at my dad's place for the next five days for two very good reasons. But first I'm gonna show you what I just picked up from the store because obviously we're on prep and I needed to get everything I needed for the day because we literally arrived at London Heathrow about three hours ago, drove straight there, rented a car. I'll explain why I rented a car in a second. I'm not driving like my own car because I have a car here, but it's more expensive to drive my own car than it is to rent a car. I'll explain when I show you. But this is what I just picked up. This is pretty much everything we got. Here is meal number two that I just made. I've already eaten meal one that was cold and soggy on the plane because I made it like the day before to eat in the morning because I know I'll be really hungry. But we got some oats here with some peanut butter, strawberries, and protein powder. We've got the huge whey. This is one of my favorite flavors, strawberry cheesecake. And of course, you can use code HARDBODY to save 10% at checkout if you want to get it too. My diet is pretty simple, or at least it's more complicated in Canada. Over the next five days i just wanted to keep it as simple as possible just to make it easy to prep the food we've got some chicken strawberries for the oats dad's already got some frozen blueberries so i didn't need that we have some five percent fat lean beef oats picked up a new tub of peanut butter just in case my dad didn't have any we already had the protein then for some veg we've got some mushrooms onions avocados jasmine rice my dad's got a rice cooker too so it's gonna be really easy to prep all day usually i have pasta in canada but i'm probably just gonna stick to rice while i'm here because it's just so easy one cow spray pink himalayan salt for some easy seasoning courgettes which i'm used to calling zucchini then some spinach and more eggs i couldn't actually find any egg whites so i just bought two cartons of eggs so i can actually just make regular egg whites by cracking the eggs rather than using the cartons i usually can find cartons of egg whites here it's just i went to morrison's and i don't think they have them but tesco definitely has them but morrison's is like a five minute drive from my dad so i was like you know what i'm so tired after the flight i just wanted to get all the food i needed to come back and get my meal so i should give myself some energy i realized the reason i'm tired is because i'm so freaking hungry i slept the entire flight right now it's about 12 o'clock so i'm like basically ready for an entire day ahead of me. So today is going to be nothing but gym, prep, family, catching up with everyone and just like spending some good quality time because I'm obviously here to see my family. We've got a big family day tomorrow evening. Everyone's coming around for pizza that I can't eat. It's going to be great. It's just a necessary sacrifice because everyone isn't on prep and I am. So I just need to sit there and just smell the smells and see the pepperoni and just let it all in. But I'm going to be eating my chicken and rice. So other than, of course, family, the reason we are back in the UK is for two main reasons. Tomorrow, we're going to go see the Hard Body Warehouse for the first time since we moved into the new warehouse. I've obviously seen videos of it and everything. I know how it's all laid out, how everything works within the warehouse. I've just never seen it myself in person. And over the past few months, we've had so many new products arrive in the warehouse. Like we've got some new lifting straps and bodybuilding belts dropping on the 21st of March. Can't wait to see all the stock there. So I'm going to like be showing around the whole place. It's literally going to be amazing to see like how much we have 
have in like real life in person and meet the guys behind the scenes that run the fulfillment center. And then secondly, which is I feel like even more exciting than going to see the warehouse is the fact that on the weekend on Saturday is the Arnold Sports Festival UK. I went there two years ago and it was one of the craziest expos I've ever been to in my entire life. I went literally just after I got the pro card so everyone had been watching the series and it was so good to like go there literally a month after prep because everyone was like so full of like congratulations. It was an amazing time. The day before the expo, I crashed my car like a pizza delivery driver pulled out on me and just we just went straight into the side of his car. So I was a little bit shook up the day before, but nevertheless, the expo was amazing. And I've heard that this one is going to be even busier. There's even more people coming, faces I've never seen before, people I really want to meet as well. And we're just going to be roaming around. Unfortunately, none of the companies I work with are going to have a booth there, like Hugh Supplements and Alphalete. One day, I would love to have a hard body booth there. I think probably next year it would be something I would love to speak about having but it means we're just gonna be roaming around meeting people off the cuff I'm gonna be giving away some free pieces of equipment so if you are going on the weekend please come up to me I can't wait to speak to you and I may give you like a free pair of lifting straps or wrist straps or something just to say thank you for supporting me myself and hard body and all the stuff I do now check this out this is the family wagon of all family wagons I, I've never even actually seen this car before but this is the car that we're renting for the weekend I wanted an SUV I wanted something big and to be honest it's pretty tech like it's very modern and it's a 23 plate so it's only one less than a year old my car is over here but unfortunately this is so expensive to drive for just five days that i didn't even bother because this is about 700 to a thousand pounds to insure get the mot get the road tax and this was 300 pound for five days the current market value for this car is about maybe ten and a half thousand maybe eleven at a push but i've got it listed for just at ten but i feel like if i really want to get rid of it i need to list it for like 9.5 it's in great condition so if anyone does come to to see it obviously they'll see the condition it's in i'm not trying to obviously like i don't want to sell it to one of you guys i'd rather just sell it on auto trader or facebook and to be honest it just feels so good to be back home and my dad's currently at work he's going to come back soon my brother is at work he'll be back soon so i'll be like able to see them but i just thought i'd get the shopping unpacked get some work done get a few meals in and just be ready for when they do come back so i can see them geordie stayed in canada because she is very deep in prep right now she's a lot deeper than me she's competing a few weeks earlier than me she's been on prep for about four weeks longer than me as well so i didn't want to like wreck her routine just to like go to the expo or see the warehouse because it's definitely just like more of a me trip this time i want to keep ourselves very busy over the next five days and make it a really really good trip back to the uk and obviously george is back as well <laughs> how you doing man i've missed you you've been keeping the house safe now my dad has been making these protein brownies for the like the local gym he goes to and i'm pretty sure this one is biscoff and this one is like raspberry i don't want to touch them because like george just licked my fingers but they look absolutely delicious so not only do we have a family pizza night tomorrow we also have protein flapjacks like i said i think i said brownies but they're like he does do brownies but i think mostly flapjacks we've got biscoff raspberry all the shit that i really like i knew coming back was going to be a test because obviously when i'm with geordie and we're with Stu and we just got like a daily routine prep is so easy to stay on track because we don't have any food in the house that like is testing or bad because we literally just like stew eats really good i obviously i'm planned geordie does too so we're never really like having the urge or like temptation to have anything in front of us but when with the family it's an extra test to see how bad we want it i ain't slipping up this entire prep and nothing is going to tempt me to do so i want to talk about something that i found out recently about the arnold now i want to give my honest opinion of this because it is quite strong definitely does show the change of time and how like the industry changing and stuff like that because i was on the arnold website and i read some stuff about like paying to meet so i'm not gonna say like too much right now because i'm just gonna I'm, I'm honestly starving i want to eat this but in a second i'm gonna go in the living room sit down and talk about what the hell this is because it's honestly kind of ridiculous in my eyes all right so i've come upstairs because downstairs is absolutely freezing i feel like canada i can't believe i'm saying this is a lot warmer like the uk cold is something else on the topic of the arnold sports festival back in the day when we used to go my first ever time going to the expo i was 17 years old and this is when it was called body power that massively fell this an expo because i'm pretty sure the guy that owned the expo annoyed a lot of the people that own the booths and the sponsors and different stuff and no one likes him so nobody wanted to do it anymore so that expo essentially ceases to exist and two years ago there was the arnold and everyone got annoyed there because arnold didn't show and then apparently it was meant to happen the year after and i'm not sure if it did i think it did but i didn't go to it and he didn't show up again apparently he's showing up this time now to meet arnold you have to pay obviously the day pass for the expo but then there's like a meet and greet or something where you have to pay 500 pound to meet him and I get it. 
it's Arnold. Like, that's cool. I just really hope that because he's made so much money from the expo, I remember when they used to be super cheap. And to be honest, the weekend pass isn't that bad. It's 96 pound fast pass, three day fast pass. So, you know, under 100 pound for a whole weekend, that is pretty good. But it, that's substantial for a lot of people. Like, you know, someone's day wage is less than that, right? So they have to work for an entire day or more, especially because the people that go to these expos, they're students. They're people that are just getting into lifting. So they don't have a bunch of money. So they're probably getting their mom and dad to pay for the ticket. There is an IFBB pro league meet and greet so apparently you have to pay 40 pound for the meet and greet to meet some pros i don't know which ones they are then you're at 140 pound right but then if you want to meet someone else this is photo ops so arnold schwarzenegger photo op 500 pound for arnold and i get it he's been a governor he's been in all the movies like if you're going to pay to meet anyone you're going to pay to meet arnold right so it's 500 pound there's like thor bjornsson 60 pound ronnie coleman 120 pound jay cutler 60 pound sam sullock 60 pound and it turns into this thing where when you used to walk around the expos you would like line up and meet all these people for free but you had to pay with your time now you probably still have to pay with your time but instead you have to pay if you want to meet five people you're going to be spending about 400 pound over the whole weekend which blows my freaking mind because it's the sponsors that are deciding this to happen it's the expo that's deciding for this to be the case if it's a management of crowds thing then you should book a ticket and then a time slot to be able to go and see that person so it manages the crowd right but it's not a time management thing it's a money hungry thing Thing. I went when I was 18, the second time I went to the Body Power Expo, I lined up and I went to go see Kai Green guest pose. I drew him a big canvas out of charcoal and I went to go see him. It was free. He gave me 10 minutes of his time, gave me the most amazing advice, the thing I really needed to hear when I was 18 years old. And it really set me up, like my mindset wise, for like the future of what I wanted to do with fitness, which is obviously what I'm doing now, what I've done for the past, like, you know, ever since I got the chance to speak to him, I started my channel at 18 years old and the advice he gave me was priceless. But what I I have had the chance to do that if I had to pay £120 while working at a gym on minimum wage or less than minimum wage, probably not. I would have missed out on that incredible experience. And I guess those experiences are now for the fortunate, which is unfortunate for most. So do I agree? Do I, do I? No, I don't agree. This is bullshit. Like that's, it's crazy. Because maybe people want to meet Sam Sullock. Maybe people want to meet some pros. Maybe people want to meet Jay Cutler and then and, and Arnold and whoever else. Because Arnold pretty much, I'm pretty sure he just walks through the expo sometimes or used to, especially the American ones. And you could grab a quick picture, say what's up, shake the man's hand, like 700 pound, 800 pounds, like a thousand dollars. That's crazy. So times are changing and I do not like the way it's going. This is bodybuilding. This is a sport of love and fitness and, you know, bringing each other up, not rinsing each other dry. All these companies, all these federations, all these things, they make so much money over the year. It would blow your mind to know how much money they make. I hope they are giving a large portion of these proceeds to a charity because it doesn't make any sense for it to all go in their pockets because they're already making so much with their product sales and everything else they're selling while at the expo. I'm actually going to end the video with that. I wanted to give a bit of a update on that because I'm going to be there. And tomorrow, I can't wait to see the warehouse. And I'm going, to, I'm going to vlog the whole day. I'm going to take you along with me, show you what it is to order from Hard Body Fulfill, all that sort of, some of the things that we have coming in the next week or so. And that is pretty much it. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, I know it's been a bit of a random one, obviously two time frames, two time zones, two countries, but tomorrow's video is going to be a bit more structured, a bit more consistent. And yeah, as of right now, we're 13 weeks out. So if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications because it really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.